These easy to make impressive starters are not only delicious but perfect for entertaining friends and family. With Christmas just around the corner, let these ideas add a touch of magic to your festive gatherings. Let's dive right in. Baked brie cranberry pastry is a must try and it is surprisingly easy to make. Let's preheat the oven. I've got brie cheese. Brie is soft cheese originated in France. I'm using store-bought puff pastry and it is important you line your baking pan with parchment paper now. Lightly score the semi-thawed pastry into three sections. In the middle, spread about two spoons of cranberry sauce, but feel free to swap it with fig, raspberry, apricot or your preferred jam. Next, layer slices of brie cheese and sprinkle chopped pistachio on top. For the sides, I cut strips about half an inch thick all the way down. I slice the same exact number of strips on the other side. Then I start braiding by beginning at one end, bringing strips into the middle, overlapping and alternating. I brush on an egg wash for an extra gloss and a golden crust. Bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until it is nice and golden. Feel free to sprinkle it with more chopped pistachio or pomegranate to make it more festive. You can assemble this baby a day in advance Wrap it in foil and refrigerate. As this pastry is best when served fresh out of the oven, it's ideal to bake it before serving. Nothing beats a caprese salad with its simplicity, taste, and of course, the vibrant Christmas colors throughout. With a process so simple, not much instruction is needed. Slice three large heirloom tomatoes and mozzarella into half centimeter slices. thinly sliced red onion. Now let's assemble the salad. Place fuzzy leaves between the layers. Dress with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Add finely chopped fresh or dried oregano if desired. Season with salt and pepper. The last appetizer on the menu is a delightful smoked salmon cream cheese sandwich. To create the filling, I add wasabi and lime zest to softened cream cheese. I spread two-thirds of the cream cheese mixture onto the bread. Then layer on thinly sliced reddish pieces for a crunch. I top with the remaining slices of bread. I spread the remaining cream cheese on the top slice and smoked salmon pieces.
For the final touch, sprinkle with black pepper and chopped spring onion or chives. I hope these easy but impressive starter ideas help you celebrate Christmas stress-free with your loved ones. Thanks so much for your company. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't. As always, take care and keep cooking.